Welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Morocco. Oh, so, guys, I was just thinking about the peace deal. And should I free Najed so it could become an independent, sovereign nation so that maybe it could help conquer more stuff? Become a useful vassal, I should say. And the answer is, quite honestly, yes. Because it seems like it's a much, a very useful vassal, so... Um, what I'm going to do is... Instead of offering all this, I just want you guys to release Najed. And give me my cores. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is what I want. I want all of this plus Najed. So, if we have to take you to 100% war score, that's fine. And after that, that'll basically complete the uh, war front over here. And I don't really have to pay attention after that point, because it's basically we won. Anyways, over here though, this is becoming the interesting, you know, query is that I think... Okay, with no leader, these guys are whooping me. They don't even have their, like... Wait, we're the exact same. How are you guys beating me? Mm, stupid game mechanics. That's all I gotta say. I, yeah, I should be beating them, no offense, but I have a better commander. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I was about. What? Okay, you cannot just get like 50 boost. You have 15 ships. If there are not 15 ships over here, I'll be so mad. Okay. So. Even with. How'd you guys... Okay, that must be all your trade ships. There's no way... Okay, let's go combine some of our ships, by the way. Because... Wow. Dang. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't stick on top of the military. And you get destroyed by naval compartments. Yeah. France is going to be a real menace to for Banyard. I can't really do anything about it because, like... Okay, I'm really wondering whether getting all this military, no offense, but I do not remember France with this much military. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna, basically, what's gonna have to happen is I'm probably gonna have to do a major reboot of my military and my navy tactics and all that. This is pretty sad. I'm getting whooped by a lot of different people right now. But, hey, on the bright side, I'll be able to free some, yay, somebody got self-sustaining colonies. So now you guys are finally done. Finally, maybe you guys can finally join in back in the action, which is gonna be good because we probably will need you. Because it seems like my allies are being stupid and not doing much. They're, they're probably waiting for me to fight the entire war, which is a very bad idea. I'm not even... Ooh, that's bad for us. Sweden, why did you do that? That was a terrible tactic. Oh my goodness, you might have just doomed us. They're gonna make me fight this war. I, I have a feeling they're gonna make me fight it to the bitter end. I'm gonna be so mad when I finally finish this. Okay, but let's continue. There's not, there's really just not much I can really do right now. Um, my money situation though should go slightly, holy moly. I was gonna say slightly more up, but that was just like an increase of a tenfold. Wow. Okay, yeah, and while I'm slowly filling in all these positions over here because I get kind of sick of what this looks like too. Um, I'm just kind of glad we got all, all of this place though, that makes me so happy. Yeah, we should be... I should honestly be taking this war just slightly bit more seriously. Now that now that I really... A lie, oh, great. Now they're gonna rival me, aren't they? Uh, Mongols, Jatai... Yeah, they're gonna rival me. That kind of stinks. I was hoping they wouldn't rival me, but they're gonna rival me now. And be all angry and mopity about whatever I do. Uh, man. Sometimes I really hate the AI system in this. Because it really does make you feel so bad. Okay, so 33 men with a 251. What? 251, 44. Four. Oh my goodness, he has like God. Okay, France has like God characters right now. There's not much chance you're going to win, even if you do have the upper advantage. Hmm. Yeah, seize all you want, Oman. I'm going to still conquer you before you conquer me. Okay, but yeah, with this France war, though, I have to really start thinking about this. Because this is actually... Oh, oh, come on, come on, please be that major mistake that France is going to make that we can easily turn this into a victory. Come on, come on, don't, they keep killing, oh my gosh, yes, 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 oh yeah, yeah, that was a great, oh yes, that was a great win right there. That, like, that, like, destroyed France's army, oh my gosh, it was also a terribly dis destructive war right there, I mean, that was a, oh man, okay, installed from Bohemia. Why does everyone insult me? I mean, I'm not even like... Okay. 
so my current heir will die. Or, a new guy will come to this throne, but he will be insanely weak. Do I like my heir? Actually, yeah, he's in pain. So. Oh, he's gonna die either way. But at the same time, I gain a temple. But then this guy will. Uh -huh. Hmm. He's gonna have a weak claim. This guy's not gonna die for a very long time. Huh. Huh. I, I really don't know guys, this is like one of those, you know what, screw it, let's go with this. Yeah, he may have a weak, make weak claim, but as long as I don't die at any point in this time, I should be fine, because I'll have a strong empire by then. And we'll honestly be able to take a 100% legitimacy hit. So yeah, everything's all good, I don't, I guess I don't really care that much. Okay, well let's get back to improving relationship with random bits of people around the world because that's what we do is that's what we do as the nice Moroccoans. We improve relationships and make sure everyone is as trustworthy and nice to us as possible until we want to destroy them and, and kick them out. Okay, guys, finish up with the sieges. This is this is kind of becoming ludicrous. Like, seriously, you guys should be already finished up. Like, we don't we don't need to spend entire eternities just sitting here on places. Uh, okay. And let me get back to European theater because that's actually important. Yeah, we call diplomat. I don't know why I was improving relations with them. But yeah, France eventually won. I kind of figured that would happen because honestly, France is like a beast. So yeah. But yeah, we, we're, we're probably, if we're going to get into this war with France, we're probably going to be the ones that fight it. So yeah, all we have to do is just make sure Baden does not get conquered and we should be fine. Gain manpower, yes! I totally need manpower right now. Okay, there we go. 99% you guys are giving me what I want. <laughs> like, there is no way you guys are getting out of this. Yeah, you guys are doing this. Go. There we go. Yay! Okay, and then you guys. You guys are my vassals, but you guys are also trustworthy people. I have to wait a second. I have to wait till the week timer sets. But as soon as uh, you guys are able, I'm going to get low diplomatically make you guys uh, my friend okay and then you guys right here you guys will all combine at this place right over here okay okay everyone's happy now and now we can actually oh my goodness I'm really man these Europeans are just jerks flat out just jerks I mean I'm not even trying to declare war okay so uh so let's see Spain has a maximum of 17 heavy ships and 41 light ships, two galleys. That is not anything. Oh, what? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Destroy them, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you try to destroy my warships before we even unite. Warships unite. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, let's just keep building more. So, just keep building more all across the shoreway because I know... The reason why, by the way, the reason why I'm not building out over there is because I know I don't control that area over there. I control this area pretty firmly in my grasp, so that's why I'm building it over here. Out here would basically, basically, basically be a death trap to me and my nation, so I don't want to do that. Uh, war galleon, travel, my war galleon, travel. Okay. So yeah, that's the only reason why I'm not doing it there. Um. Okay, can I finally give you what I want? To you guys. No. I want to go to Dynasty? No. Convert? No, it's economic. Yes, that's what it is. Okay. No. I'm going to sell you. We are at war. Oh, yeah. We're at war. I completely forgot about that. So, yeah, we have to wait till this war is over before we can actually sell that province. So, I'm not going to call it. It would be kind of useless. I'm just going to say that now. Just kind of useless trying to call a province I won't ever, you know, really consider useful. But yes, we have to really consider good tactics of attack. Let's see, there's three ships right there. I don't want to particularly attack. Let me get my good general out there. The general that was I happily took because it was a great buy right there. Like seriously, who would have thought I would have got like a 333 god general? That's the one guy I really do hope never dies for a very long time. 
Okay, you guys are, you guys can do whatever you want, but once I get my ship back in order, we're gonna go... Ooh, we're gonna go kick you over. We're gonna destroy you. Oh, I know why I got 50 gold right now. It's because I don't have many ships. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Okay. Alright, so. Let's see. What do I need to start doing? I need to start improving relationships with you guys. By the way, you guys Diplo and Expo. Yes, you guys are. This is good because you guys are like the biggest people over here. And if you guys become my vassal, it'd be really happy. You guys are feeling threatened. Do you guys not want an alliance anymore? Yes, you guys do. Um, is there anyone I could use to kind of break you guys up? No, you seem to be pretty solidly in the... Uh, well, Butcher stand just a little bit, but... Hmm. No, you guys are basically solid Persian, so I won't be able to break you guys up for any time soon. So, we're just going to keep you guys like that. So, just stay like that. Don't do anything. I command it. Okay, but over here now, it's time to fully turn our attention to this war. Wow, we also have troops in foreign regions. Okay. You guys, get back here. <laughs> Seems like I could not use the uh, exile trait yet, because apparently they were already in my land. Well, that's good. At least we'll have somebody protecting this land over here, so just in case if rebels try to pop up, we can destroy them. Okay, okay. Let's get back to destroying these guys, though. And while we also have diplomatic slots... Oh my goodness, we really are missing a lot of stuff. Yearly prestige... Oh, great. That means we can't convert these. Yeah, cancel. Yeah. This is what I thought. If that guy died, I knew we wouldn't be able to convert them, so... Production efficiency, I like that. And militaristic... Morale of armies. We're probably gonna have to buy two actually because mostly because uh we need to keep this all of like 888 stuff because otherwise we're not gonna be able to catch up okay great i see him pride of our fleet good somebody sees our massive army okay so let's see france there's the 10 9 okay so that's a basically a good amount of fleet right there as long as i don't try to block up the one place that would actually affect me we should be fine you guys all combine. Go hunt rebels. Because I really don't want to deal with rebels. Okay, but yeah, if we just we just have to make sure our enemy our allies don't do something stupid. They're doing something stupid right now. Guys, don't do so oh my goodness. Did you get involved in Oh no. There's some kind of HOE conflict going on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Shyster. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to get involved in this on time. And they're uh, blocking. They're, they're, they're now patrolling the one place that actually could pose a threat to them. Native assimilation, that's good. I'm glad the natives are seeing the way I'm seeing. Otherwise, I would be pretty mad right about now. Like, pretty mad. Oh my gosh, you guys are like patrolling the right place at the right time. I mean, if I dig it, I don't even have enough ships yet. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if we can kind of sneak in my, uh,. Box from over there and get you guys from over there to over there. So that maybe we could like have a bigger fleet at least in terms of numbers. Because I have a great commander, so. Oh man. Okay, okay. They're, they're getting out. Go down. Go down. There we go. Okay, yeah, they're going away. I'm gonna wait until they turn around. There. Go. Go, 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 go. Go. Yes! Okay. Yeah, we made it. Okay, so then right over here, this is like this is like playing red light green light right now. We're just like red light, go 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 go, green light. Stop everyone, stop. Okay, got one of the colonies finished. Which one is it? Huh? Seems like I finished the colony, but they're all still going. So I guess I don't know. Send them right here then. Divide up the troops. Yes. As we slowly finish up this all this uncolonized land. It looks so ugly on my empire, seriously. Like, that looks so ugly. Morocco. Oi. Okay. While this is all happening, I should probably start getting more cores onto Ethiopia. Hmm. The alliances have weakened, but I still don't consider hedges enough. Crimea is still basically a problem because I can't white deal with them, but Mamelukes are almost dead. So I need to figure out a way to kill the Mamelukes. Let's see, they are allied with who? Crimea and Hedges. Okay, I don't know how you became friends so quickly, but 
you know that means we're probably gonna fight each other, Hedges. Like, in the near future, we will probably fight each other. Because I am not peaceful with these guys. By the way, you guys still Sunni? You guys better still be Sunni. Yes, you guys are still Sunni. Good. How you guys doing in converting provinces? Probably can't, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But, let's get back to this war. <clears throat> okay, but France's, uh, France's army is weakening. Okay, Sweden. Go use that army right there and go crush that army right there. Then just go crush everything. Okay. All my massive fleet building stuff is just finished. Okay, we're gonna kind of stealthily, stealthily put all these ships over here. Um, I'm also gonna try to stick you guys over there. There, I know they're out patrolling. Okay, they're all over here, I think. So we should be fine. Should be fine. Let's hope, let's hope that my massive migration of troops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I think they're all gonna make it. I think we're all gonna make it. So yeah, there's my fleet getting built up. So there we go. 41 ships. Oh, let me go in close. There we go. <laughs> Alright. 13 ships. 13 ships versus. Oh, you doubled your fleet! Oh, don't play. Oh, you better not. Well, let's go. Okay, well, let's go first. Go crush some of these fleets. Because right now we have a pretty powerful army. And I kind of want to take back the seas. At least in my home region. So right now this is annoying. At least having... Oh! France accepted peace. Fine. As long as Sweden stays in this war, I will stay in this war. But they better not join out of this war. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, you guys. Group up right here. Group up right there. You guys right here. War Galleon right there. Early Karax go right here. We're gonna combine this into one gigantic army. To go combat this other army that they have apparently. Which they keep building up because they know I'm bigger than them. Which is good. They should actually fear me. Fear me. Okay. But first we have to get rid of these guys. We have to get rid of their main army. Which I don't know where it is. Alright, there we go. 65 ships. So that means 22 versus 55. Right now we have numerical advantage. We should probably pounce. Let's go. And Sweden's actually destroying the- oh. Okay. Where are they? What was it? This is- this is not turning out the best. There we go. First destruction of the day. Okay. So, there we go. That helped me out a lot. Right there, that helped me out a lot. So let's go start finding those little um, friends of ours and start destroying their armies. Okay, because that should weaken them. Yes, now they're basically below the limit. I have 22 heavies, they have 11 heavies. There's a couple right there. Go hunt these guys down. <laughs> okay, yeah. As long as as long as I make sure I control the, the sea, I don't think France is ever going to be able to be able to beat me no matter what they try. And there we go. Yep. With all that power my general has, he's crushing now everyone's fleet. Let's see. 1837. So now he has still those 18. I'm still wondering where those 18 heavies are. Where did he deploy them? I wonder. Well, he has lots of barks, that's for sure. He's nowhere else in my empire. And I would know if he was in my empire because I can see a great deal of distance. So he's not in my empire right now. He's not blockading anything. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to go check over here. At least for a second. Hmm. Knowing him, though, he'd probably have all... Ooh. Am I gonna end up... Uh, let's lose some Biden. Alright, I'm not the war leader, am I? No, I'm not. Okay, France. I'm gonna sue for peace. Okay, can you give me some death needs? No. Okay, let's just get out of this war, then. Okay, there we go. <laughs> People are probably asking, why I just get out of this war? Aren't you going to try to win this? Eh, too much effort, <laughs> honestly. I'm trying to fight all those wars just to protect, like, a couple of stuff. It's not really worth it. Now, let's see, can I actually conquer this trade node right here if I actually did try? No, not even with all my maximum power can I collect it. So, let me, like, see, and... 
I don't know where the ships went, but yeah, after one thing is ah dang it. I was about to tell you guys one thing I'm definitely gonna do next episode is we're gonna we're gonna first reevaluate my entire army and my entire tactics and I think we're finally gonna start upgrading a lot of stuff because this was a pretty disastrous war, I would say. You know, we came in unprepared and we ended unprepared, so yeah, we're definitely gonna have to think about that and you know, we also had to start thinking about our conquest of the rest of Africa. I mean, it got slowed down because I didn't realize that when you release a nation, I thought it was just going to give you like a vassal. No, it gave you a protectorate, which are two vastly different things. So I'm going to have to deal with that, start doing massive conquests over here, and then do massive conquests over here. It's going to be a lot of stuff. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.